Hey, what's up, fire signs? It's Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Celtic Fox Fortunes. So I'm doing an individual reading for each Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All you have to do is check the timestamp below in the description box. And when you click on it, it'll zoom you right to your reading, okay? So I'll be using the Gilded Tarot to do this reading for you. So I do hope you enjoy. I'm going to go on a pause really quickly and come back. I'm going to start with Aries. So Aries, you're up next. Thanks guys. Hold on. What's shaking Aries? Super excited to be here to do this reading for you. Okay, so just a little reminder I do about like personal readings. I don't know what I was going to say there, but I had 16 syllables. I do private readings as well, so if you're interested, you can let me know in the comments or you can email me at CelticFoxFortunes at gmail.com. And like I've been guided to pull a couple cards just to look specifically at love and money. So let's pull a card for love. Ooh. <laughs> so we, we have the Justice card, okay? So it might seem a little bit of a weird card to come in for you but this is all about finding balance uh in your love life and i think this is going to be more important for those of you that are in current like relationships right now just so you guys are making compromises and of course this is going to come into play if you're single and looking for somebody um to date or marry or whatever that is we have the empress card here so if you guys are trying to increase your family in any way uh, it's a really really good time to do that the empress is like bringing energy from one realm into another so this is going to be a really good time to you know adopt or conceive or add to your family in other ways like with a fur baby or whatever that looks like for you um <clears throat> And for those of you that are single, this is the perfect time to like really be doing your love affirmations and maybe it might sound cheesy, but there's people that do these soulmate drawings. Confession, I had one done a little while ago and it was so cool. Anyway, so that might be a good idea to do or like draw the perfect picture of whoever it is that you idealize and just understand that the person might not necessarily 100% look like that, but writing down all the qualities that you would like in a partner, that could be really helpful as well. So, I mean, give it a shot. There's nothing wrong with that. And you can always ask the universe to better your options. You know, this is my ideal partner or better, you know. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, give it a shot. And... Spirit is asking me to look at your house of money as well. So let's have a card for, <laughs> yes, King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is you guys be basically being on top of, why am I getting food pyramid for some reason? But on top of the pyramid um, or the pentacle, when it comes to creating your own wealth. And this means that, you know, not having to report to a boss. This could be winning a lottery. This could be getting like wildly inspired to do something that is going to bring you in. Angel number 333, continuous earnings and just being like the master of your own universe. And who doesn't want that? You know what I mean? So I think that's great news. Wow. We also have the queen of pentacles. So you're just going to have this. I'm getting the word gumption, which I would never use either. <laughs> My spirit guides are really bringing in some weird words, but that's cool. We also have the peacock here. So maybe look at spirit animal peacock. I'm going to write that down for myself. I'll look it up after the reading because I'm an Aries. So <clears throat> it's looking really good. You do have a power couple here. So this could be you and your partner going into business, you know, maybe an inheritance. Um, you could be, if you're single, you could be meeting somebody that is very very well off and they don't mind sharing their wealth with you which is you know absolutely nothing wrong with that my mother always used to say it's just as easy to marry a rich man and i was like okay <laughs> anyway uh okay so spirit is satisfied with those two cards those two wow those two groups of cards wow that I pulled for you and I'm just gonna pull three more. Okay, so 
watch out for self-sabotaging in November, you guys. Um, see the Seven of Swords here. So it's okay to leave certain parts of your personality behind, okay? And, and just don't look back. Or there could be people that you have to ruthlessly cut out of your life. And don't look back, okay? Uh, you're going to know who that person is. If you had a name pop into your head when I said that, hello. This is like the reason why you're seeing that, you know, and maybe you're thinking, um, oh, do I want them in my friend group anymore? Do I really want to be working with that person or yourself? You know, I don't like this part of myself. I, w I wish I wasn't jealous or, you know, and I'm getting the word A-S-S-H-O-L-E, you know, and, and Aries mm, sometimes <laughs> can be like that sometimes, but Maybe there's aspects of your personality, angel number 555, that just don't resonate with who you want to be right now in your current version or who you want to be in your future version, okay? So it's a really good time to look at who am I evolving into and what can I leave behind? Who can I leave behind? What place can I leave behind? And maybe you want to give it one more glance over your shoulder, but I mean, you got to keep moving after that. So I think that's really, really good advice. You have a really important friend group playing into your life here with the three of cups. Um, if you're uh, like a soul practitioner on your walk or you're in hermit mode, I would really expect that to change coming up in November. Three of cups is all about deep abiding friendship bonds. Um, this could even be the romantic partner, if you're single, that is coming in for you. This could be a water sign, which is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I really, really like the pairing of an Aries with a water sign because they could maybe um, temper you a little bit and they would be more amused with your, let's say, antics than other signs that are just rolling their eyes at you if they think that you're a bit dramatic, but hello, have you never met an Aries before? And I was saying, wow, about the Ace of Pentacles because we have the power couple here with the Queen and the King of Pentacles, and now it looks like you're going to be receiving a big fat bonus <clears throat> from the universe, and it can come in many, many, many different forms. So if you're sitting and telling yourself, this is how, I would like to receive my blessing. Maybe drop that and just look at the blessing itself, okay? Uh, if you wanna win money or whatever, if you wanna receive money or you wanna receive a car, just focus on what that ideal object is and then let the universe figure out how to bring it to you because it's ready to bring it, okay? So let go of the how, where, why, um, you don't have to plan so much. This is what the universe is here to do. All you have to do is put that image out there, put that um, that wish, that goal into spirit, and it will manifest for you. And it looks like, okay, you might be taking a little bit of time for yourself in November as well. So maybe this is going back to where we saw the justice card uh, too, okay, to maybe just really be balancing yourself off. Like, really be careful of your energy. I find that a lot of Aries are empaths. And let me know in the comments, you guys. Remember to put your zodiac sign in the comments. Let me know if you're also an empath, okay? So even though you have this wild Energizer Bunny um, energy, you need time to recharge as well. So make sure that people aren't forcing you to do things or you know you could do like a cameo appearance at places instead of staying for the whole thing and remember um the irish goodbye which means that you don't say goodbye to anybody you just leave okay you don't have to announce that you also have the chariot here so it's going to be a really 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 high energy month for you you know but again always balancing it off because aries you're a little high maintenance and that's okay you just have to be the one that is prioritizing your own maintenance okay and asking other people to respect your boundaries your space your wishes whatever it is that you need for yourself it's going to be a great month love money all the way around just make sure you're putting in firm boundaries and if you have to leave people behind don't look back, okay? All right. I'm going to let you guys go. Sending you lots of love. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye.
What's going on, Leo? It's Robin here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm ready to rock out your reading. And just a reminder to put your uh, zodiac sign down below in the comments or type out LMG, Leo Millionaire Gang. I hope you guys are doing really, really, really well on your manifestation journey. So I'm going to start off with a couple cards here to represent your love life and then we're going to look at money and then I'm just going to see what other messages that spirit has for you okay so love mm. it looks like you're maybe in for a little bit of a lull here with the two of pentacles in reverse okay so this is actually not a bad thing if you guys are in um, like a serious relationship maybe it's just going to get a little bit more comfortable you know and if you think that you're in a relationship that is boring Try to replace that with the word peaceful, okay? There's nothing wrong with a steady, peaceful relationship. And if you do feel like it is boring, maybe you should do something about it, okay? Don't point fingers at your partner. Don't just sit back and just expect somebody else to make the magic happen. Do something like outside of what you typically would do. Uh, for those of you that are single, this could be either it's not a good time to angel number 1111 just went by not a good time to look at somebody you know or be on a dating site it could be just time to like really focus on yourself right now or you could be narrowing down to somebody in particular and because this is an earth card it could be a taurus virgo or a capricorn okay so a lot of possibilities out there just remember um you have to sort of be the magic that you want to see in other people when it comes to relationships don't let somebody else do all the work because they they maybe resent it after a little while okay unless they're a saint and i don't know any of those <laughs> all right so house of money i have to fix the angle here sorry i know it's annoying but anyway house of money we got the ace of pentacles so you like your business ventures could be paying off this is a really big fat generous thing coming in angel number 1212 lots of money lots of money pouring in and maybe this is why your love life is going to be a little bit like on a even keel because you need to focus on what is happening here but i mean a couple great cards there for you everything's cool in your love life and just reaching a fever pitch when it comes to uh money okay and like I said before, I call you guys LMG, that's Leo Millionaire Gang. So this could be the month where you really take off. You might be purchasing that one stock that is going to make it big for you. Who knows? It could come from anywhere. Okay, so let's move on um, with the rest of your journey here, Leo. Okay, so it looks like there's going to be an opportunity. And I am seeing with the two of wands here, there is a decision to be made. But for many of you, what I'm getting here, there's an opportunity for you to be moving somewhere else. And you're going to have to decide, should I stay here? And that could have everything to do with the Ace of Pentacles. You could get a really good offer in a different city. And that has, you know, this is going to have long lasting impacts, obviously, on the rest of your life. So it, it's not a bad idea to do a pro or con reading list i was gonna say also if you need help with that i do private readings but anyway um it just it's going to be very very impactful but it looks like either way is going to be super super lucrative for you um so just oh awesome we have the two of cups here so there's an angel number two two in the cards and then there's a really big focus on relationships as well okay so this is probably going to be somebody that starts off as a friend or is a friend for you um, this could be just a really really steady relationship that you can go and talk to somebody this could be I'm getting like an increase in being able to communicate with your family a little bit better especially if there's people that you wish that maybe there was a bit of a stronger relationship that you talk to more um, <clears throat> this could even be just a better relationship with yourself, like accepting things about yourself that maybe you're not so fond of, or maybe just resolving things like guilt and shame. So it's going to be a really good opportunity because those are just, nobody wants to live like that. Okay. And just 
just in case that you are feeling with this two of cups that there's something that you shouldn't have done or said or whatever just know that you know spirit already sends forgiveness there's you know it's fine it's it's really it doesn't matter okay um it, it i'm not saying it doesn't matter it just in the grand scheme of things like there's all this like this tapestry of the way that our lives overlap and you are a perfect perspective of universe and your energy comes into play with so many lives so whatever it is that you're feeling guilty about or have shame about or any negative uh, energy about it was already orchestrated and you played your part perfectly so try to release that that's what I was trying to get at when I was saying it doesn't matter um, and here's the five of cups okay so this is going to be your decision either you want to keep looking back into the past and say oh i should have married that person or i should have done this or oh you know just woo boo hoo you know poor me there's more to life that what than what happened in the past okay and you have to resolve it or you're never gonna live the type of life that you want to live you can't reach for the stars while you're reaching for the tissues you know what i mean so um i do have the death card here so this is definitely spirit saying hey time to move on you know if there was somebody that you feel like if you're having a case of the what ifs it doesn't matter anymore you can't go back into time and change it okay so move on leo all right so you're getting a very very strong message that even if you think that you were supposed to be with somebody or you wish that you hadn't have done something um it all turned out exactly the way that you, it was supposed to according to your soul contract and if you're not familiar with soul contracts i would like you to check that out so that you could get a little bit more information and start moving forward you do have the page of wands here so i see another fire sign coming in this is going to be another leo or an aries or a sagittarius and they're going to give you some really valid information or you're going to have a really close heart to heart talk with them and and they're just going to be super helpful as you move ahead in your life mm, you know what we do have the devil card here so you could be actually speaking to somebody about some sort of habit that you just kicked okay um there's things that we do to avoid working on our shadow which is represented by the devil here and the devil is the voice in your head or the compulsion to do things that are counterproductive to your health to your safety to the wellness and the welfare of your family and the people around you this could be things like binge eating binge drinking online shopping um you know sleeping around just you know just really destructive behavior so you might have a really close ally and i sense that this person is in your family that is going to help you to move past that and that probably has a lot to do with that guilt and shame energy that we're seeing here so you guys are going to have a really busy 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 november it's going to be like this wild roller coaster ride you know you're going to be up and down um but it's going to be really important in the down times not to lean on a habit that you might have overindulged in um you know and and why waste time for that i've got the ten of pentacles um and we pulled the ace of pentacles in your reading this is the jackpot card so if you don't generally buy a lottery ticket i would really advise that maybe now's your time to do that um <clears throat> you know it's just there's this line anybody ever watch vikings when Rolo went to see the seer and he was like uh like the five of cups energy that we saw here and i can't find it because the cards are a huge mess here in front of me um and the seer said to Rolo, if you could see what is coming next for you you would be dancing on the beaches okay so it really is time to turn yourself away from the past the death card is saying there's there, it's nothing there's nothing there anymore it's over it's done you can't fix it um and to stay away from destructive habits no matter how tempting they are okay 
you stopped doing something for a reason and you don't want to let this get in the way of this okay what are your choices here you have the ten of pentacles you have the ace of pentacles wild abundance wild luck or you got this guy that is just going to take you down a slippery slope until you can't stand the person that you are anymore okay and that i, I hope that's not where you want to be because you don't deserve that leo uh, I'm just going to pull one more card. I was going to wrap it up, but they're saying one more card. Oh, jeez. So you do have the Eight of Swords here. So it looks like you're in your own head a little bit. So it could be really time to refresh your home by using incense. You can use incense or sage. Um, you know, putting salt in the four corners of your home or all the corners of your home or you know, around your property that is going to really, really bring up your... Um, energy i want to recommend black tourmaline as well as black onyx uh really repels negative energy and something that i just recently got for myself is an organ pyramid so i would really uh, highly recommend that as well so you can get out of your own head kiss the devil goodbye and just move into that ten of pentacles ace of pentacles energy that you have worked so hard for Whew. all right leo i'm gonna go <laughs> how's it going Sagittarius Robin here with your November reading so I'll just refresh the gilded tarot deck for you guys so this is a general reading for Sagittarius in Sun Moon Rising and Venus so I really hope that you enjoy the reading um, if you do need like additional information or help with a subject in your life I do private readings, so you could either hit me up in the comments or send me an email. Please also leave your zodiac sign so I know which reading that you watched, and let's get going here. So we do have the sun in reverse, okay? So I see this as some of you could be really dreading something that is coming in for you. Like this could be a period of darkness in your life, but I think it's just a little bit to do with um, winter. Okay, so if you're in a place that is just preparing for winter and the shorter days, please get something that is going to help you with seasonal affective disorder. And I think you can get lights off of Amazon or something like that. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to pull a couple cards to look at your house of love and your house of money. But that sun in reverse, it just looks like, you know... If you've had issues before with um, like any sort of mood disorder, get some help for it right away. Don't let it slide on, okay? Uh, so let's see what your love life is going to bring into you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you could be missing out on an opportunity with somebody. This could be your current partner or it could be, you know, it could be somebody that you friend zoned if you're single. This is the perfect opportunity to spice things back up in your life again with the Empress card, you know, just breathing new life. This is what the Empress does. She brings life. She brings uh, she brings manifestations from one realm into another. So don't sleep on this opportunity. And this could have a lot to do with it, you know, just being bummed out about the shorter days or the colder weather. Uh, don't let that stop you, okay? Just really start to take really significant care of yourself because you don't want to sleep on this opportunity, especially if you're single and you think this person doesn't fit the mold exactly of who you want to be in a relationship with. I see that they could be like, this could be somebody that is a really good partner for you. Probably going to be a water sign that is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay? Okay. All right. And for those of you that are allowing a relationship to stagnate, maybe you should to avoid the winter blues, you and your partner go for a little trip somewhere that is as much as you can afford that is going to offer you some relief from the winter blues, the winter blahs. You know, whatever you can do, even if it's to rent a hotel suite and just get out of, okay, so uh, your house of money. I have the fool card here. So I'm getting that phrase in my head, a fool and their money is soon parted, okay? All right. So this is kind of a, a little bit of a warning from universe. They're saying, 
just be very careful of whatever it is that angel number 444 just went by whatever it is that you're investing your money in okay uh, make sure you're doing a ton of research before you say yeah okay i'll buy that bridge <laughs> i'll buy that property like whatever investment it is including loaning money to somebody make sure that is just the right amount of money that you could afford to live without okay because definitely if it's a loan to somebody you're probably never going to see it again and if you make a bad investment you're never going to see it again so just definitely make sure that you're not going all in like draining your bank account or let borrowing money from somebody else to make an investment because you need to be able to part with it you know i would like to see it come in for you but with the fool card it's just saying just be really 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 careful or skip it all together all right so we have the death card in reverse so this is very specific advice that i'm getting here for you um so I'm seeing that if you have been battling with a certain illness or just maybe not the nicest person in your life, that should resolve for you. Uh, I'm also seeing around you if there has been somebody in your family that has been doing not that great, they should experience some sort of, what's that word? I'm, I'm getting the word recession, but that's not it, is it? It's when, just anyway, do you know what I mean? Just feeling relief from a certain illness. So this is going to apply to either you or somebody around you, okay? Um, we have the emperor here for you. So it's really super important to consider any decisions that you're making. If you have somebody in your family or a friend that you really trust, ask for their opinion okay because i feel like you're about to make a huge decision that is going to have ramifications for the rest of your life and i just i don't think that you have all the information that you need you know it just maybe use somebody as a sounding board to be able to say you know they could maybe pick that apart for you because what if five years down the line you're looking back at that one decision that you made in November 2024 saying, oh, I could have avoided that, you know, if, if only I had more information. And I'm seeing that with your house of money as well. So this is going to be a month where you're going to really focus on self-care as, as well as not making decisions in the heat of the moment that could impact your impact your life significantly as well as your bank account okay so you will be able to make decisions with confidence just don't go in guns blazing and just this is what i feel that i should do okay because feelings aren't facts two of swords put some brain power into it and if you feel like you're not an expert on a topic you have an expert in your family. So whatever that advice is, just go get a sounding board. Even just listening to yourself talk. Or if you want to speak out loud to yourself, just, you know, hey, I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do. You can ask your higher self too, you know. What do you think? And then you'll get some responses just in your head, uh, you know. So I think that's going to be a really important exercise to avoid making a massive, massive mistake on many fronts, okay? Okay. All right, so let me pull another couple of cards here for you, Sag. I do have the Justice card here. So it looks like everything is going to work out for you in the end, as long as you take slow, measured steps, okay? No rushing into anything with sort of the, the heavy energy of the cards that I pulled for you. Um, I do see there is an opportunity to come into a sudden unexpected amount of money for you as well maybe a lawsuit there is there a class action suit that you're a part of or something there's something going on like there could be something coming in actually from the government that you didn't know about maybe you had an uncashed check or something is going on there's going to be some sort of a settlement that you're coming into so and this is going to be really really helpful hold on for a second 
you know, if there's any courses that you wanted to take in your life with the Eight of Pentacles, or there's somebody in your family that you want to help them pursue their education, that's going to be really helpful because this money is coming out of nowhere. It's going to be unexpected. So do something unexpected with that money. And I'm just going to pull another couple cards here for you. I see the number 11 with the justice card is going to be like really, really, really significant. So watch out for angel numbers that contain two ones, uh, especially angel number 1111 or 111. Okay, just really pay attention and make sure that you're interpreting those numbers. Okay, that money that we're seeing coming in here as well could be very beneficial in helping you move somewhere if there's a city that you want to get out of. Okay. And then we have two eights in your reading. So that's an angel number eight, eight as well for you. So this is a really good number. This is really good energy. So it's it's like just avoid doing anything not brilliant, okay? And just put a lot of thought and energy into what it is that you're doing and expect a big chunk of money to come in from nowhere, okay? So I'll let you guys go. Take care. Bye.